What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Mildeficent, coming back with another sneaker review. And today, I mean today, I'm going to continue that, uh, you know, heat on feet. Now, I say this because not too long ago, I did a video about the L that I took with the Satin Jordan 1s, primarily because I wanted my Holy Grails, right? So although I didn't get the Satins, I still got my Holy Grails, which came today, so I am stoked. And actually, it's kind of a double up when you think about it. So, what are the Holy Grails? Well, is it the Jordan 11 Concords? Uh, it, was, it was close, but no. no not, not the Jordan 11s. But, well, was it? It was at one point. At one point, it was the Cap and Gowns. Remember Cap and Gowns? Jordan 11? So, if it wasn't the Concords, and it wasn't the Cap and Gowns, what was it? Without further ado, let's find out. So, ah. Uh, Good friends in Nike decided to uh, send this big box. Now, keep in mind, I know you're seeing this, it's kind of awkward because this box is huge. Um, you don't see the Nike swoosh like you do on that traditional box where you see the big old check mark. However, they still do the just do it tape. So it kind of gives a, a way of eh, what it may or may not be inside this box. Now, without further ado, Let's get into my holy grail for 2019. And I'm so stoked about this. This is heat on feet. Let me explain why it's my heat on feet. So let's get this thing popping. And there we go. I'm not blocking your view. Sorry about that. Oh, wow. Bags, plastic, all this stuff. Got the Nike, Nike receipt. Wow. You guys, ready? Da, 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 da. That was some bad sound effects, but hey, whatever. Anyway, so your boy is double up. Why? Now, for those that know me, you know that I did a previous video, and I'll actually include that towards the end of this video, so you can see for yourself how to pre-install, or at least install the, the dark gray Nike adapts on your phone. Now, these are the dark grays. If you recall, not too long ago, Sneakers had a restock. And the restock included the shoe that I wanted that came out technically towards the NBA All-Star break. So, what, February? Uh, and I really tried to get my hands. I actually had two chances to get this. And I whipped on it. The first time, Nike actually sent me an email. And I think it was a few other people. A group of other people for early access to these shoes. And I whipped on it. Now, for those that know what this box is, you already know what time it is. These are the Nike Adapt basketball shoes. First introduced, I think I saw Jason Tatum had it on. Uh, he debuted it in the NBA game. And I was in awe. I, I was in awe about the shoe. But I underestimated the technology, the, the engineering of the shoe. It, it's mind-blowing. I mean, literally, you step in the shoe, you preset your shoes, whatever, I want to say, it's not size, but you preset your measurements right i think that's how it's depicted on but the the comfort level of your shoe you can have a preset so when you you take it off you put it back on the shoe basically just adapts to you <laughs> whatever you had a preset on it, it automatically adjusts it's almost like the sleep number bed and anybody that has a sleep number bed you can preset whatever you want if you want it really hard or soft 
whatever comfort level you want it, you can set it to. That's exactly what it's doing. It's this fast fit system technology that adapts to your liking. Now, in my previous video, I showed you how to set this up. In this video, I'm going to kind of unbox this, but I'm really going to show you how to do it, at least from the dark gray, since I already have that pre-configured. And it does take some time to, to basically install, configure, sync up, and all that stuff. So, But since I did that previously in another video, I figured I'd do a little bit more on the app itself. Now that they have the update, it's been out. The trial run's been out. So I know there was like a little glitch, a minor glitch, maybe, you know, some type of breaking that went on previously, but I know Nike pretty much figured that all out. The latest update, I think that it's a little bit more easier to understand, uh, it's user friendly, and then I'll show you all that on the Nike. Actually, I'll show you that on the Nike Adapt app through my phone. I forgot I could do that. But anyway, with all the yap, 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 let's get to the boxing. Now, anybody that's got the Nike Adapt basketball shoe, you know how to unbox this. Some people may, some people may not. I already got this is this is my second one. So this this is cake, right? Well, we'll find out. And I didn't realize that even back in February that they actually started doing the QR codes back then. So back in February, I know you see them more now, the newer shoes, but even in February, like my older uh dark grays also had the same box with the QR code right there. So I'm going to just push that up right there. You can see that it is a size 13 in men, size 14 and a half for women's. But that price point, that price point is going a little high. But this was part of the restock from the sneakers app. They dropped, but I guess the, the last pairs that they had, I want to say last, I'll put quotations over it. But I'm pretty sure based off what happened in the NBA All-Star break that they didn't sell everything. I know there had to have been some stock somewhere. Not many people are going to pay $350 for a shoe. Not many but me. But anyway, enough of that. Let's get into the boxing. Now, the best way to do this, obviously, you want to just take this and pull up. That takes care of the first part of it. And the part that catches people off guard at least when I see this box, there are two lids, two tab lids, one on this side and one on this side. And all you have to do on both sides, pull up like this. Of course, I can't see this side, but I'm pretty sure I got it. You pull up like this. I think the last time I tried this, the sneaker fell down. Ugh, it was it was bad, but I've gotten better. So it's almost like, think of like one of those chef things and you got like a big, whole chicken that you're getting ready to you know underneath the pot and you take off the lid and oh snap dang in whoo all right you see you can see it all wrapped up it comes pre-packaged nice plastic it's, it's, it's like it's opening a hoagie or something like that you know? whoo, 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 whoo. let's just take this out all right, all right, all right. Let's take this out. And like I said, this was a colorway thing for me because I really wanted this colorway on top of the dark grays. I didn't want to go after the mags, which I think they consider the wolf grays. I didn't consider that just because I had the dark grays. So if I had a dark grays, it doesn't make sense to go after another gray. I wanted black. I wanted something I could also wear with anything. The gray I can wear with anything, but you know, black pops out a little bit more to me. And so here's the shoe itself. And of course, what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to pull out the dark grays as well, just to show you, since it's all preset, show you a little bit here. Now, it comes, of course, you got to take this plastic off right here. And it comes with a nice little QR pad, wireless pad. This kind of feels. Why does this feel heavier than the one that I received for the dark grays? One second. Let me just pull this one out. I need to do it anyway, so let's just take this out for a second. Just wanted to see. Make sure I'm not going crazy. And these are the dark grays. Actually, I'll leave that here since we got to put that on anyway. 
Uh, I just want to compare the QR code or the QR code, QR wireless pad. Uh, I guess it's the same thing. Uh, it's the same thing. I felt like this was a little bit more than this. And supposedly you can do the wireless phone on here. If you have a wireless charging phone, you put it on here, it'll charge your phone. Whatnot. It's not worth it. But anyway, so I'll put that with this. And it comes with the wireless pad. You can put your shoe on here. The charging does last quite a while. I think I got up to two weeks. Like just using this constantly because I love to just, I love the fact that I can slip my feet in here <clears throat> and the lacing system will automatically adjust. Now, the neoprene that they have on here that's on the midsole, kind of like this rubber portion, is very thick, it's very sturdy and durable. Um, and along with this crazy behind synthetic mesh that they have on the upper, but th the style of this shoe, I'm telling you right now, this is probably, at least in my vision, it's probably my holy grail. Just the fact that it's, it's technology. You, you just can't beat technology. It's awesome. It's almost like having a smartphone slash sneaker slash smartphone sneaker technology. Oh, and also, it comes with this. What is this? This is basically the power adapter for the wireless pad, which is right here. But again, because I have all this stuff pre-opened, eh, it doesn't make sense to unravel this yet. And of course, it comes with the manual showing you how to install, what to do, what not to do, et cetera, et cetera. But this is Miltonificent, so Miltonificent is technology to a certain point. But he knows automatically what to do based off the fact that he has not one, but two Nike adapts. That's right. So, your boy Miltonificent, let's get straight to the phone because I want to show you how to preset certain settings. There's some cool things you can do with the Nike baller adapt app and finally finally got these bad boys in the lineup and me i don't know too many people that have two not one but two nike baller adapts michael adapt nike baller basketball at least the adapt shoes two different colorways in their collection i, I i'm sorry I, I like to be different and again when it comes to technology i'm sorry i'm sorry so with that said and done, let's hop into the phone. I'll show you some cool things you can do. And actually, I'm going to show you an on-feed briefly. But basically how it looks when you put the shoe on first. And how it just adapts to your, how quick it adapts to basically the sizing of your foot. The way you want it preset on the app. Of course, you can preset it to whatever you want. Very tight if you want to play basketball. Very loose if you just, not very loose. But a little bit looser if you want to just walk around. It, it adapts to your everyday life. It is, it's beautiful. So, with all the talking done, let's jump into the phone and go from there. All right, YouTube, it's your boy, Milton Nificent. And I'm gonna give basically a live demo of how to basically put your foot inside the shoe for the Nike Adapts. How does it adapt and how does the app work? So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the um, my feet in here. And keep in mind that these shoes are preset to my app already so it should sync automatically see right there and you can see right there so let's just jump straight into the app itself and then I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about so it's gonna connect uh, and right now you can see that it has different levels on the right side you can see it's 35 on the left you can see it's 35 now the higher the level meaning if you go straight up to 100 it's the tightest it's gonna be it's the tightest that the system fit that's going to automatically adjust to your shoe. It'll tighten the shoe. And obviously, if you go lower, it'll basically loosen the shoe. Now, a quick way to take off your shoes from the app is basically hitting this button right here. It takes you to the absolute lowest level, which is zero. So you can basically take off your shoes. Now, if you hit this, these are what's called presets. So let's just say if I'm playing basketball, I want this to be not extremely tight but just tight enough so the shoe won't fall off I tap game and you may not see it on my feet but I could feel the system fit technology automatically adjusted that presetting and you can see that right now that's on 80 and that's on 80 if I decide you know what I want to go do occasional walking what I can do is find the level that I'm comfortable with for walking so 
you know what? I'm like actually gonna put it down to 40 on both sides. Uh, I'll go back to presets and I'll hit add mode. And I'll just type hmm, walking. Hit save, go back. And now every time I take off my shoe and put it back on, it's going to automatically preset to walking. So what it does, it detects your, your feet inside the, um, in the shoe and it, it'll adapt to the presets that you can do. Now you don't have to do it this way. There are ways of not doing it that way. Uh, one thing you can do uh, is when you hit this um, icon up here. In my case, I know I have multiple Nike adapts. So when I have the second adapt up and running, if you look at my previous videos, I already covered how to sync the, the actual shoe to the phone. But if I were to add another one, it would be simply adding this and, and then it'll detect, once you put your, your shoe in parry mode, it'll detect that and add the second shoe. Um, I like that they actually added that because I think that was part of an update not too long ago, especially because of the fact that now you can go in and decipher what's, <laughs> what's the difference between one and the other. Um, when you look here, this was actually, I had to label it dark gray because by default, I think it shows Nike adapts, but if you have two Nike adapts, which one are you connecting to? So, you know, you have to manually kind of <laughs> label it. Um, another thing that they did, they added on, at least from the update standpoint, is now you can identify, um, oh, at the wrong one, you can identify the type of adapt you have. So if you have the pure platinums, you have the dark grays, if you have the wolf grays or the AKA the mags, um, you can add that setting and it'll show a picture of that. So you can also tell the difference between the two. But for now, we'll leave it at dark gray because we don't have the platinum synced up just yet. So obviously you can also remove it. You can also calibrate the fit. Um, if you feel like it's not syncing up correctly, meaning if you try to adjust these two and they're not synced up and something finicky or sounds wrong, you can go there, hit the caliber button and get yourself straightened out. This will tell you the batteries that the battery life that you have between both shoes. Um, I can tell you right now, I've been fit around this thing a lot, <laughs> and, and I'm surprised it's still only at 95 and 96 percent. The amount of times I've been playing around with, the, with these shoes. But anyway, going back, another thing you can do is when you do a hard press, it'll show you the different hues or different colors that you can associate with the the actual shoe. Now the light doesn't stay on permanently. It's kind of like um. It's kind of like this, this is the, the setting of you know whatever preset that you may have so maybe blue is for walking maybe red is for playing basketball but you'll notice the hue change so if I select this not only is it changing here but it also changes on the shoe itself and actually let me do that one more time I think there we go there's yellow so as it's changing on there You'll see a change here momentarily. Let me just pop this over here. Bang. Let's just change this to yellow. And no, ask me later. Actually green. And we'll look on here. And you can see that it is green. <laughs> so each time you make adjustments to the actual shoe, um, in terms of the color, it's gonna reflect whatever you have on the app itself. It's the matchup. I think that's kind of cool, but I think they're I think the mags are designed to actually stay on but that would kill your battery if you actually ever did that but I mean outside of that I feel like this is my grail just because again I love technology and I love the fact that I can preset this way I love the fact that I can preset the shoe to my liking because me I, I'm an active person I walk I run I play basketball um, no matter what the outcome is I can adjust the shoe to my liking most shoes you put them on and it's just that one set and you never know how that, that, that can affect you, especially if you are standing in, I guess, in line for long periods of time. Instead of you standing on your, your, your insole for a certain period of time, now you can adjust that level um, and adjust that comfort level to your shoes. So that's, that's why I decided that the Nike Adapts were actually my holy grail. I love the technology behind it. I love the fact that you can, you know, either you can... <laughs> do it through the app, take the shoe off, or you can adjust the settings manually on the app itself. I'm sorry, on the shoe itself, once you go and press these buttons right here. I think that that's a, that's a, that's a cool feature. You can manually adjust it here and take it off. Obviously, if you press down here, this will be 
the loosening and then this is the tightening portion but I'm gonna tell you right now from a personal standpoint like if you can get this if you can get the shoe somehow or at least try it out it is mind-boggling this thing is so so awesome so the boy Milton percent I wanted to give you that 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 kind of app review not the actual shoe review I know I got the platinums and the restock but I mean I already did a video on how to sync it how to do the dark rays that was already synced so I figured it'd be easier just to do it this way so you don't have to go through the whole ordeal but if you really want to see that video I will leave the video link towards the end of this video and you can see how I sync these Nike adapt dark rays to my phone I take you through the full step process so your boy Magnificent I am out you guys have a blessed day don't forget to subscribe and you can like the channel subscribe to me I'll subscribe to you it's tough out there it's tough out there but I know you guys are all tougher so God bless road to 1k at least subscriptions is it's, it's getting there it's definitely getting there so hopefully we get there so I can get these prizes out There's so much stuff so much stuff your boy Magnificent and I'm out